Hi Collective, welcome to the channel, Cosmic Divine Dreamer. Hi everyone. So this is going to be a transmission for the Twin Flames. Now you don't have to be on the Twin Flame journey to be catching this transmission, okay? But I feel as though I need to start recording my story and explaining as it's starting to make sense to me, right? So being on the Twin Flame journey, it's like you have an activation that awakens you to the Twin Flame journey so you'll know if you're truly on it or not it's not just like everybody does not have a twin okay um the twin flames are the chosen ones right and it's that way for a reason you know because these twin flame journeys are they're not all love and rainbows like there are a lot of trauma and a lot of things that we purge out and you know, they're, they're the entire journeys. You're not just going to meet your twin and get together without having a traumatic life b before. And um, it has to do with that because it's like, ultimately, when you're able to purge all that out and get to the highest vibration of love, then you align with your twin. But they've glamorized it, these beautiful love stories and all of that because how powerful twin flames are when they unite and come together. Every twin flame that does come into divine union. And when they anchor that love into the planet, it goes out like a rocket and it is felt. It, the vibration of the planet rises. Let's just say that's how powerful it is when these unions do come together, true unions. Now you can come in alignment. I feel like I'm flipping the words. <laughs> All right, well, you can get in, together in a relationship. You're not at the same vibrational frequency often, but if you get together, they don't last because they are too intense. There's... There's too much attack on the twins to be able to sustain that relationship because the enemy very much knows who all of the chosen are, where they are, and they're constantly under attack and battle and get compromised. And if you're not of high vibrational frequency where you can't let the enemy get in, it's going to have you attack your twin and all sorts of stuff. And that's why it's, it's too much for somebody to to bear and that's why you often have the runner chaser dynamic right because it also protects and safeguards it that way right now you would say why doesn't god divine source protect these unions more from attack are there ways that you can protect um can you just run away with your twin and not have these attacks and things like that you don't understand though it, it would defeat the purpose of all of the work that you have to do yes now you do have to walk away from certain people and you often hear the twins do have to cut off and let go of their family members things like that but it's not running away it's making the choice to to close those out to cut those ties to move on but then not having that grief and that resentment that oh I chose I chose um love I chose you over my family you know what I mean there there's so much more that go, that goes into it than that so these are very very powerful I mean you are you we are uniting back together our souls that were blown apart right and and finding our way back together and that is exactly what the enemy wants to stop right so this this is the the final <laughs> um, battle spirituality right coming back together in alignment with divine source to creation and you know anchoring these so that's exactly <laughs> it defeats everything right so before for you to have true union you need to know that you're you're not looking for love you're not long you're I want to say longing. You have to be completely fine with not having love. You basically choose love for yourself. And then God can step in and bring you together. Then it's you magnetically just pull your twin right to you. That's why if you go looking for love, if you go looking for your twin, if the conditions aren't right, if you haven't cleared out everything, if you're not to a level... If you can't fully accept that you are enough, you're not truly going to be able to. And that is why there are so many false flames. And that is why there's so many people that can come after you and compromise you. And, and you're getting ruled to the mind. If you're focusing on love, you're focusing on who your twin is, you're, you're focusing on, on, you know, if the timing's right, all of that. If, if you're even thinking about that, if you're even wondering, like, who your twin is, you're not ready. 
Because if you're putting that signal out there, you need to know too that the enemy can get into your mind. The enemy can then use those things against you and flip your thoughts. And, and there's so much that, that, that goes on. Like, like literally, like I've, I finally just realized like to shut it all down in my mind to stop all the spiritual attacks and everything, like I had to fully surrender it. You have to get to the point where you're just, you're, you're able to just surrender actually. Like, I basically said, like, I don't want love. It's just, it's too much. I'm tired of people getting compromised. It, it's not fair that, that I can see, you know, these beautiful souls get compromised by the damn devil and enemies and all of that just to try to get to me, just to try to stop. You know what I mean? Because you do come in alignment with multiple soulmates, right? Mainly every relationship that you do have a connection with. Um, is a soulmate from a previous lifetime, whether you're here to teach karma or whatever. So you do come into alignment with past life, you know, but the enemy knows how to get into these soulmates and people in your life. It's like it can get into your mind, right? If you're not able to block. But either way, even being of a high vibration, I still feel that the enemy can get in there, right? And have access to you. So, but it can flip the thought and, and um, and make can get into your dreams, can plant seeds. That's why you can't go, oh, I've I've heard my twin in my dream. I've seen my twin in my... Yeah, because they can get in and plant things in your dreams too. You, um, it's almost like you fully have to just accept yourself. You have to be on on this mission, like knowing that you're going to surrender for love and, you, and you're just going to love yourself. So that way nobody, you see what I mean? How can anybody get compromised if you don't have these choices and these doors open for the enemy to be able to see? That's why when you finally just love yourself and you accept that you're going to love yourself to the fullest and you're not going to be thinking about relationships and love and all of that, you're going to collide with your twin. So that is where I'm at right now because <laughs> I'm so like so don't go looking for readings don't go looking for like you know like you don't need to get advice on your love life and be even looking up if you're still at a place where you're looking at the twin flame journey online you know how many dark spiritualists that are on there that are flipping things and all sorts of stuff and the enemy could be guiding you right to these dark spiritualists like i called it out last year i said there is a lot of judases and there is a lot of fakes um dark high priestesses out there the ones that can't get on camera and show their faces you're the dark ones just so you know, because I said, if you're not a fake, and I'm putting this out there, if you are not a fake, dark priest, dark high priestess, you're not, if you're not letting the enemy use you, then you should be able to put your face on the screen. So who's hiding behind the scenes? That's because they, they know that their masks will be seen. They know that there's people like me. They don't want me seeing them, do they? So, be careful what you watch, what you open up. Some of them don't even realize that they're dark high priestesses. So, I don't mean to be aggressive with everybody. Because some of you, I'll admit, when I first started, when I first started my journey with the tarot and the oracle, like, I was getting compromised. I was. Because I didn't know, like, when I felt grabbed, I thought that was my way of connecting with source right? When I felt grabbed. No, no, no. Little did I know when I was calling in my ancestors. I didn't know I needed to call in my high vibrational ancestors because I was letting all my dark ass ancestors that are trapped, all the darkness, right? Because I, I didn't know at the time for my awakening that my father was the cult leader, right? That <laughs> that he was part of the secret society and all of that and there was curses upon the bloodlines and that I came here to destroy that I didn't know that so yeah when I was calling upon that I was basically calling upon the enemy right so you know that's also why you know a lot of that stuff was blocked right and um <laughs> yeah so I'm putting yeah I'm putting this out there. so anyway yeah I've always had the enemy um, after me or whatever and um, it still is right it's interesting um, like y you'll know the enemy's voice in your head is loud when you hear a soft quiet voice 
that is your own. That is your intuition. That is your connection to source. So always remember that. What's quiet, not what's loud. As for your protection, definitely. I always light a candle, right? Because lighting, best if we can do white, but I'm out of white candles right now. Um, white candles. And oh, let me say this too. Sorry if you hear the construction. As I'm... I'm letting the construction go on. I feel more safe and secure around it. And plus, everywhere that I go gets remodeled and has construction going on because when you house an angel, you get blessed, right? So, um, yeah, it makes me feel safe and secure. I love it. Anyway, so um, there's things that you can do to protect yourself. Different vibrations and frequencies, too. Those of you that have found places by, like, airports, train stations, things like that, where there's constantly disrupting the barrier, those are very, very safe places to be where, where you're protected, right? So, um, and I wanted to say, I'm not saying that you can't always, you don't always have to be on camera, but you do need to um, come on, you need to go at least back and forth, right? So you can be seen. Because we are here exposing the fake, the fakes, as I am anyways, because I'm calling judgment on a lot of them, right? And exposing them. So, um, so there's that. <laughs> anyways, so, to back to the twin flame journey. So yeah, when you finally know that you don't need another to complete you, that you are fully complete and you are focused just on you. That's the true part about this journey, right? Because it's more than just love, relationships, and connections, right? So, um, yeah, so that is finally what I find. Like, I, you know, it's because it's like for a while, it's like I've been doing like the love triangle, different things, um, because I was with false flames. I've always been trying to figure out who my twin is, and then I found out that or I was getting that my twin was compromised and know that there's been new contracts and my twin and then the enemy knows how to get into people and clone them and mirror them and they can flow your energy right back at you so you can be like oh my god I'm looking at myself right now but in fact it's just you know a manipulation of um something else I'm starting to realize too is when when people are reciting the same thing over and over and over again it can trigger something within your mind and, and impose spell work on you too so you need to be careful of that hmm. yeah oh what is somebody figuring it out hmm <laughs> So I could be awakening these things for you. So be careful about the same repetitive things that you find yourself listening to. At first I used to think, oh, it was the way to pull in the algorithms. So there can be fake judices right in front of you. And even the ones that are on camera. But like I said, I'm starting to be able to discern and starting to see the evil and starting to see the more of it because a lot of the masks are coming off the illusions are being shattered and exposed confirmation <laughs> yeah hmm so the best thing is to just really try to shut off the mind too the more quieter that you can quiet down the mind stop letting the devil have access to your plans to your thoughts right just start focusing on you. Mm, yeah, because there's all sorts of like confusion spells, all sorts of stuff. And finally, I got to the place where, um, yeah, there's certain the high, the highest twin flame connections on this planet. They um, they're coming together at this time. And they are, um, when they come together, they're going to unite as one. The highest connection has multiple twins to it. And when they unite, they're all part of one higher self. Let's just say that. The ones that are going to understand this, you're going to know what I'm talking about. 
I guess let, let's just say that when the four horsemen unite, they're all part of one higher self. So the twin doesn't really matter, does it? Not when the four horsemen unite and come together. So there's that. <laughs> all right. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave this one short, just like that. Whoever needs to see this will get it. That makes sense to you. I am going to be getting into doing cards and things like that because ultimately I'm still am going to help you because um, me giving guidance through the cards, that may, may help you discern that, you know, you're with the false flame, you're with the, you know. Now I get why many people on this journey, like, they just give up on the tarot and the oracle because it's like, I'm free. I don't need to look for love anymore because I found it within. So it is kind of like false in all of this if you have to go to love readings to find out your love. <laughs> but I get it because you want to you wanna get, you want to know what's going on in your life and it does really help you. And I know it's, it's helped me a lot to be able to break away from situations to know that I wasn't alone and was able to get guidance and able to see. But there's so much corruption out there that ultimately, you, that's why I always say like you need to use your discernment. You need to know to use your intuition. It's like tarot's been weaponized, and now I see why a lot are against it, because there are a lot of false prophets. Um, and it's like if you're not using it the if, right way, if you're not protecting yourself. Back to what I was saying with the candle is that's why like I always light a candle, because that's connecting you with the light, and it clears the vibration around you. So um, anybody that uses candles um things like that i remember once listening to a reader that was saying that crystals were bad now i get i get it can crystals can get attachments on them if you don't know how to cleanse them and things like that and witches work with them right so i get how people have been turned away from them right but crystals are very very healing right and they help anchor you with divine light like that's why that's why right away like i got my crystal um ball is not to be I am a seer and yeah but um it allows you to focus your third eye connect you with divine source energy to be able to connect to be able to fully open your third eye to be able to see right so that's also when you know you've got a reader working with divine light right so that may help you discern right Anybody can get cards and connect, but a lot there's just so many that have been compromised. Like any of the readers and the spiritualists that you may be watching, if they're going through stuff in their life, they're bleeding out in their readings. Or they are, you know, being not not getting it from divine light. So it's exposing a little bit in this one. So yeah. Some of you may need to know that basically, like, you're... See, that not everybody... <laughs> I don't know how to put this out, because... I don't know if it's the enemy that's that's putting, like, pressure on me that, that's not making me want to come out. Um, I'm going to leave it here. <laughs> I need to. I've been ha under heavy heavy spiritual warfare and attack right that's what i mean this even though you have a lot of protection the devil can only get within the mind and control you manipulate you through the mind know that love and light raise your vibration do things for you stop thinking so much in your head raise your vibration do what you love focus on you live life for you you don't need anybody else you never did love and light to all of you bye